Dave Morris. You're watching The Play. I'm joined today by assistant local editor for the Oklahoma, Nick Tragakis. Nick, thanks so much for your time today. Sure. Much appreciated. Every day, Nick or his colleague Rick Green and I will discuss the following day's headlines. Let's talk about Wednesday's edition of The Oklahoman. Coming up tomorrow, story on personal records, a frightening scenario for many Oklahomans as their personal information was inadvertently posted on the Oklahoma County Clerk's website. Our reporter, William Crum, is working on this story for Wednesday's edition. And Nick, let's talk about it. What do we know about this story? We know that uh, information, including uh, social security numbers for Yikes. county employees and retirees, was inadvertently posted on the county website. Uh, we're told by the county clerk that, of course, it was an accident. Of course, yeah. Uh, the information was taken down as soon as they found out about it. And they believe that only a few people within the county clerk's office saw the uh, files that shouldn't have been up. And they've taken them down. And we're looking into how that happened and hopefully how they can stop that from happening again. Very good. At the Capitol, meanwhile, a legislative committee has passed a bill allowing nursing home residents or their families to put video recorders in their room. Capitol reporter uh, Michael McNutt's all over this. It's on Senate Bill 587. And what prompted this proposal? This was prompted by a uh, woman who only through the use of a, of a secretly planted recording device in her mother's nursing room home found out about abuse that was going on inside the room. And so she's been on a crusade to get legislation passed. Today it made it through a House committee. Uh, it's going to move on now in the legislative process, and we'll stick with that and see if it indeed ends up being signed by the governor. One final story. Oklahomans are heading to the polls tonight to cast their votes in several elections across the metro area. And what are some of the items on this April 2nd ballot? This is an election that uh, is especially important to people here in the Oklahoma City metro area. You've got a couple Oklahoma City Council races. Uh, involving incumbents on the council, Skip Kelly and Gary Mars. Mm -hmm. You've got a mayor's race in Edmond and a mayor's race in Norman, and a hotel motel tax question in Norman. So for people who are local to the area here, I think there's some issues that people will take a lot of interest in. You can find these stories in tomorrow's editions of The Oklahoma. Nick, thanks so much for your time. Let's talk about a few other things here. An article about a threatening email sent to Oklahoma State Senator Cliff Brannon among the top stories on NewsOK.com Tuesday. The co-founder of the Sooner Tea Party warned Brennan he would become, quote, the laughing stock of the Senate unless a piece of legislation passed out of his committee. The OSBI is investigating. They will turn their findings over to Oklahoma County District Attorney David Prater. And we're getting some new information about the case. You can find an update on the story by Nolan Clay in Wednesday's editions of The Oklahoma. Taking a look at some of the other top stories from Tuesday, Sooner football coaching legend Chuck Fairbanks passed away on Tuesday. He was 79. He died from a battle with cancer. Fairbanks is credited with implementing the wishbone offense. He coached the Sooners from 1967 to 1972. Kim Mulkey, still sulky, if you will. She made the top 10 stories for the second day in a row. Sports columnist Barry Trammell questioned whether the Baylor coach embarrassed herself and the sport of women's basketball by continuing to criticize the officiating of the Baylor-Louisville game. And you may remember Baylor lost to Louisville Sunday night, just one point, ending the Lady Bears NCAA run. That is a look at some of the headlines that's coming up tomorrow and some of the top stories today on NewsOK.com. It is wet and cold out there. Be safe and have a good night, everyone.